Hello and welcome to another video. I recently purchased an A1425 late 2012 MacBook Pro. It came with a 128 gig SSD which is not big enough. The 2012 model isn't compatible with NVMe which severely limits our options. Drives I saw available through various Mac sellers were too expensive. I've gone for a cheaper option. It's a 1TB M2 drive in an adapter. It cost a much more reasonable $200. Could have gone a cheaper option buying this MSATA 1TB and an adapter. But what's done is done. Here it is. Let's have a look. It comes with two screwdrivers, a P5 Pentalobe and a T5 Torx. There's the drive itself. I'll put links and other information in the description. OK, let's do the upgrade. First we need to remove the bottom case. iFixit recommends disconnecting the battery. I believe it's unnecessary as long as the Mac is shut down. The new drive is a lot smaller. Let's have a quick look at the old 128 gig. It's manufactured by Samsung. It has a thermal pad on the bottom. Hopefully we won't have any overheating issues with the new drive which doesn't have that. OK, let's get back to installing the new drive. Clip-in caddy is a good feature. A better feature would be an option to install a full-size SSD. Lid back on and we're done. I won't bother with cloning. I'll just do a fresh install of Big Sur. I'm using the same install media I created for the Patch Sur video. The link to that is also in the description. The disk comes pre-formatted but I'm going to format it again. Here's the before benchmark. And here's the after. Fortunately it was slightly faster. Well that's it. One day if budget allows I might upgrade to the Kingspec 2TB. Have you done something similar? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.